hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley a ts tech talks video in today's video guys i'm going to be showing you guys more tips on how to make use of the signal application and more things that you do not know about signal application all right guys let's dive into that um let's go ahead and open signal right here um so uh actually before i do that you can notice i have a lot of notification right here it's not actually because i've been sending them message it's because they are actually signing up and installing um signal app so everybody that installed and signed up for signal app i have been getting their notification so far right here so um that's the reason why it's been displaying like this so i have to scroll down in order to get my group so this is a group i created you can see it's a bit different from the um, contact messages so i'm going to click on the group now the first tip that i'm going to tell you guys about this group is um unlike other groups signal actually allows you to add up to 1000 members in the group which is actually a plus for you so it means you are going to have members that are up to 1000 in this group so and um, and more of so guys you can also have a disappearing message right here if you want to turn on disappearing message you can go ahead and click on it and then allow it to um be five seconds ten seconds and so so once you turn this on it's actually going to run the same way um disappearing message does so i already made video about disappearing message you guys can check that on my channel about signal i have created a playlist for signal videos so you guys can check that out so once i turn on disappearing message it's going to dis um, display here that your you set the disappearing message to five seconds so it means that anybody that have read the message are actually going to um find it disappearing after five seconds so which is also cool this works in a group and is also working in the private chat so i'm going to go ahead and turn this off because i don't want this actually on for this group and then another thing you can mute the notification if you do not want to be getting notification from the group which is also very cool now um there is this custom notification also that is actually turned on you can go ahead and turn it off now you can notice when you click on the custom notification you can notice where it says use custom notification if you do not want to receive them you can turn them off and now you can notice where it says notification sound on default you can click on that to change that to whichever one you want if you want to make it silent that's fine if you want to make it an alien select that there are different notifications here right here that you can make use of go through them and scroll down to choose the best one you think that will fit to your kind of person personality or lifestyle so i'm just going to leave this on default now um if you want the vibration turned off go ahead and select it but right now it's actually turned on anything on blue means it's actually activated now let me back out of this settings and then another thing you can notice where it says um always notify uh, me on mentions right it means whenever somebody mentions you that you are going to receive a special notification apart from getting notified so you are going to receive that special notification saying somebody actually mentioned you for the group and on the group and you are going to be able to um you're going to be able to make um or reply to the message which you are actually notified on this is what it means by mention if you do not know more about mention once you click here and put at and then you type on the person's name this means that you want to mention the person so when i i click on this this other person is going to receive a notification that i actually mentioned them so just like this so that is what it does so that is that for the mention and then right there where it says shared media it actually means the media that have been shared to the group if you click on this section or the image you are going to see that particular shared media and if you click on see all you are going to notice the date that the person have actually uploaded it the media the files the audio and you want to see everything you can click on this one and it shows you the dates that the person have actually added the media which is also very cool it's only displaying one of them because i only have one media uploaded in this group now another new another interesting thing is how to add member you can click on the add member um you can click on the um who will be able to join the group any new member that will be able to join the group you can say only admin will be able to add it if it selects only this option that means you will no longer be able to make use of the um link to add people which means 
it's only admin that will be able to add people, which means I can only make use of this add member section and then add everybody that I want to have in the group, which is also very cool if you want to make the group a bit more private. But for some reason, I'm going to set this to all because I have more videos I'm going to show you guys. And then another interesting thing on this group, um, you can actually enable this particular option to only have admin edit the group info. If you want admin to only be able to edit the group info, meaning only admin, let me select only admin. This is actually the group information, which is actually the name and the profile image. This is actually the group information. It uh, varies um, from the name and then the group um, thumbnail or the group uh, timeline photo that you guys have on the group. So that is what it means. Everything on this section right there, that is the group info. Now, um, I've actually left that on only admin. Let me turn back on to all group. Now, another interesting thing that I want to show you guys today also is um, the group invite. When you click on this group invite, um, you're actually going to see the people that have been invited to the group or the pending requests that, um, or anybody that wants to join the group they are all going to be displaying right here. Now, I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you guys how it works. So let me go ahead and click on this group link right there. Now you can notice this is the um, active group link right there that was created initially. So if I want somebody to join this group, making use of this link, all I need to do is to click on share and then I can either copy it or I can say um, maybe I want the person to make use of QQ code. I can just say QQ code and then I will share this QQ code anywhere I want the person to um, join. So I'm going to go to Signal again and I can share this individually to contacts that I want and I'm going to send it to them. So they will have to download this and scan this image to be able to join the group. And also if I want them to join the group making use of the link, um, all I need to do is to come right here, click on the group link, share, and then just copy the group link. And then I'll go right back to their account or their profile section and then click on it as if I want to type and then click and hold and then paste. So once you paste, you send it. So they are probably going to see this whenever they check their message. Now I'm actually sending this to my brother. So I'm going to click on that link. But before I do that, um, one more thing. That i want to tell you guys so if people actually click this group link automatically they join the group right and now there is another interesting setting if you look below it says members request right here right here where it says members request now i'm going to on default this is actually turned off but i'm going to turn this on what it actually means is this um if somebody click on that link or somebody share the link and then they are invited to join the group if they join the group and you want to be the admin or you want the admin to approve them joining the group then once they click on the link they are going to be on the pending group which is actually right there this pending membership request so they are actually going to be displaying here and then you'll be able to now approve them let me go ahead and um click on that link and also show you guys more things so um another thing guys if you've created this group and you do not want people to keep joining you can go ahead and click on reset link when you click on reset this link if anybody is trying to join the group with the previous link they, they will no longer be able to join the group with that previous link they will have to need this link right now i just click on the previous link and it says the group link is not active the reason is because i re reset this link to a new one so it actually changes the link and the url and all those stuffs to a new one so in order for this guy to join the group i need to copy this link again and send it to them so I'm probably going to go back go back and go back once more and they actually made a mistake and then go to G1 the person and then click and hold then paste send the message so they are going to receive this message now I'm going to click the link because I've seen the message below so I'm clicking on it and now it says request to join so I'm going to click on request to join sorry you can't see that on the screen so I just clicked on request to join and let me go back to the group and see if it has been added. Now you can notice below it says request to join the group VI group link. Now um, you can notice where it says one pending request. I'm not going to click that because I want to show you guys some other things 
on right here so once you come right here you notice where it says members request right go ahead and click on members request now you can notice where it says um the person's name which is j1 2021 that's the name i save with this contact so it says you want to join the group link now there are two things you can do right there you can click on this s icon to reject his um request for joining the group but if you want them to join the group go ahead and click on the check post action which is the good um i mean the check action go ahead and click on that and it's going to say add um add this person name to the group so go ahead and click on add and you can notice it says added to the group so if i back out right now you're going to see the person name displayed in the group so that is all for this video guys there is a lot of things that i'm going to show you guys on my next video so make sure you do subscribe to the channel and like the video see you guys on my next video and stay safe guys peace